Morning YouTube. Today we're talking about is it too late to train for Civil War? God, I hate him even talking about this. But, uh, see I didn't do too bad. There's my best group right there. Yeah, pretty good. 25 meters. Fired as quick as I can pull the trigger. So is it too late to train? Uh, well, I guess that depends on when all this stuff goes down. I hope it never goes down. I hope this is just some theoretical discussion. But at the same time, your responsibility to defend yourself is uh, paramount here. You know, you cannot rely on other people to defend you. Hey, if it happens and someone comes to my defense, great. Ultimately, it's my responsibility. So you have to be able to defend yourself. Now, what are you training for? If you're training for concealed carry, it's a very different deal. Pistols are pistols and rifles are rifles and shotguns are shotguns. Every one of them has a very different place and a very different training method. Um, my expertise is in handguns because I was training for the uh, self-defense at a close range, you know, what you would encounter in a civilized, civilized society. Um, but war is fought with rifles, not handguns. Um, I hope war doesn't happen. If it does, it's going to be the responsibility of each individual to uh, protect himself from whatever is coming. Uh, there's a lot of resources out there. I personally recommend Clint Smith. He's an older guy, a Marine. His outfit is called Thunder Ranch. I've never been to Thunder Ranch. I've always wanted to go. It's expensive. The ammo required is expensive. Uh, it's on my bucket list. Maybe I'll get there before Clint gets too old to at least hobble out there and talk to us. So uh, he's lo located now in Lapine, Oregon. Ironically, he used to be in uh, Colleen, Texas. And um, that's the Thunder Ranch I wanted to go to. It was a big operation. I don't know what happened if he sold it or what. So is it too late to get started? Well, I guess it's never too late to get started. The worst thing you want to do is just go down and buy a gun. That's just, I do not recommend that. You need training. Um, there's all obviously the safety reasons why you need training. But let's talk about a more practical to your personal needs reason, even than safety, is that, okay, it takes a thousand repetitions to create muscle memory on any given um, body part. You know, so any given motion, gross motor skills, as it were. So, for instance, trigger manipulation. It takes a thousand times of pulling the trigger before you can commit that to memory where you don't think about pulling the trigger anymore. It takes a thousand times to draw from your holster. It takes a thousand times to reload your magazine into the gun. Um, that's bad enough as it is, so you got a lot of work ahead of you. But if you learn incorrectly and you do a thousand repetition, repetitions, create muscle memory on, an, on a particular method, and then you find out that the, you were doing it wrong, then it takes ten times that, some say even more, to undo a bad habit. So if you've got a thousand repetitions into a draw just to find out that you're sweeping your body or you're doing your draw wrong or you're got your holster in the wrong place or you got to redo that and it takes 10,000 repetitions to undo your bad habit so training is very important that you get it right the first time training comes in the basics you know you basically you start with firearm safety you learn to operate the weapon then you start to commit muscle memory and uh, later on you learn tactics and the use of cover and then moving and shooting and all of those things. Um, I can't overestimate the necessity of training. Uh, training is extremely important. Get good training from qualified people. Now, they train, they take little pasty-faced mama's boys and they train them to be United States Marines in six weeks. Now. A recruit fresh out of boot camp really isn't that well trained. 
They train them basically to use their weapon. They train them some hand-to-hand -hand combat. They train them weapon train them in weapons retention. But a lot of that is breaking down and building up their phys their physique. You know, a lot of it is PT. A lot of it is just getting in shape. Uh, a lot of it is discipline. A lot of it is protocol. Uh, in that six weeks, they teach you how to make your bunk and they teach you how to pack your gear. So there's a lot crammed into that six-week course. Um, and then when you get to the other end, you're not necessarily a gunfighter. Not to the level that, you know, certain people get to. So, is it too late to train? Depends on how quickly this goes down. But I will tell you this, if you buy a gun, put away the ammo with it. And here's the 100 to 1 rule I believe in. If you put up one round, you need to expend 100 rounds in training. You're talking to a guy here that's got over half, I stopped counting at half a million rounds downrange in training or competition. Half a million. 500,000 rounds, that's a lot of money. And so you got to expend more than you put back. I can't overemphasize enough, you know, that you need to have a lot of ammo put up. So, you know, if you're gonna train for this thing, it's, it's almost too late. Furthermore, there's more to surviving than just gunfighting. Uh, you've got to know how to knife fight. You've got to know how to stick fight. You've got to know how to hand-to-hand uh, -hand fight. Not only that, you've got to know how to preserve food. You've got to be able to put up food. You've got to be able to keep a pantry. You've got to be able to resupply yourself. You've got to be able to store ammunition. You've got to be able to purify water. You've got to be able to build a fire. There's so much. And I guess maybe at this point I'm kind of talking to Antifa a little bit because I know you're watching my channel. And, um, you know, if you haven't started, you're way behind the curve. You're going to be highly ineffective. You are going to be struggling with the basics of life and survival, like, you know, how to wipe your butt and how to boil your water. And you're going to be way behind the curve on that and all of it. Uh, Antifa just needs, you need to go back to your basements. Not to say that with the help of the deep state, you couldn't put up a serious fight and hell, you might even win if somehow you get the military on your side, which I don't see happening. Uh, this is a lot of hysteria. A lot of people want to engage in some heroic idea of war when they've never never seen it, never never talked to anybody that's been in it. They don't understand it. Their idea of war is video games and movies. But if you're a patriot and maybe you've put off training, maybe you got a little bit of training, I suggest that you just dig in. There's so much to learn. Um, controlling the range of a fight, using the right tool in the right range transitioning between weapons my god it goes on and on and on and on i don't you know i don't pretend to know everything but i will tell you this if you aren't trained already it's probably too late but you know it's never too late to get started it'll make it easier if things come down the road honestly if you haven't dedicated your life to training and war breaks out you should probably run for the hills and hide under a rock that's just the truth because even the trained men are going to perish if anything like this happens is it too late to train? Never too late to get started. But I got to tell you, you're behind the curve. And your decision to engage probably ought to be directly related to the level of training and physicality that you have. And I got a lot of training, but I'm falling apart, you know. Uh, the big 5-0 there, man, a lot of stuff goes south. But, uh, you know, in a barricade situation, uh, I put up a serious fight. So at any rate, catch me for the next video. God bless the Republic.